Hey everybody, Dr. Rafi Wald here. Hope everybody is doing well. Just as a quick reminder, if you have any subjects that you would like me to cover, uh, anything that you're interested in, please send those topics along. I am very happy to cover those for you. Uh, today I'm going to talk about uh, aphasia, A-P-H-A-S-I-A. -A. The term aphasia means an impairment in a person's language skills. Uh, that's not a simple term. There are a lot of subcategories underneath aphasia that all contribute to the overall greater umbrella term aphasia. So aphasia can include something called anomia, which is when a person has a hard time naming an object that they're looking at. It can include general word finding difficulties and fluency difficulties. So when a person kind of has fits and starts that sound a little bit like stuttering when they're speaking, that's also a component of aphasia. Some people with aphasia have language comprehension difficulties. In other words, they just can't understand completely what other people are saying to them. And then some people have difficulty with repetition. So if you say a short, simple phrase to them, they have a hard time repeating it back. All of those are components of aphasia. And aphasia is generally a symptom of another neurological condition. For example, like Alzheimer's disease or a head injury can have aphasia as a component. I uh, hope this information helps you. I am looking forward to talking to you all soon. Bye-bye.